Well, hey guys, how you doing? So I'm finishing up the messages from May 15, 2023 to May 30th, 2023. Um, I claim that Jesus Christ is God. He's the son of God. He came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for our sins. He rose on the third day. Ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. May 15, 2023, Ephesians 311. Uh, according to the eternal purposes, According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Uh, Amos 3 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. 1 Peter 2 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Leviticus 2 9. Then the priest shall take from the grain offering memorial portion and burn it on the altar it is an offering made by fire a sweet aroma to the lord john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life ephesians 2 9 not of works lest anyone should boast joel 1 7 he has laid waste my vine and ruined my fig tree he has stripped it bare and thrown it away its branches are made white first thessalonians 2 11 as we know how exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his own children. Job 9.3, if one wished to contend with him, he could not answer him one time out of a thousand. Mark 14.8, she has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Luke 9.11, but when the multitudes knew it, they followed him and he received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. Numbers 23.22, God brings them out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox. Luke twenty two twenty three. Then they begin to question among themselves which of them it was who would do this thing. Matthew eleven twenty two. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. Exodus twenty three twenty two. I didn't even realize he gave me all those twenty twos. <laughs> but if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary. To your adversaries. <clears throat> also, I noticed, like, guys, when I was doing May 1st through 14th yesterday, I noticed that the Lord literally told us that to look at his calendar, and we just, I just missed it. We were so excited about his coming that we thought all the events were leading up to it. So anyway, check that other video out if you haven't seen it. My child, I'm coming. The angels are lined up, ready to blow, doors closing. Have you believed in me yet? It's my grace that saves you. I told you it's nothing that you can do. It's everything I have already done for you. It's my will for everyone to be at the wedding feast, but unfortunately, many of you have stubborn hearts and you still don't believe. I've given you so many signs. Are you watching for me or do you still think you can figure out revelation of my word without the Holy Spirit guiding you? No, Sadie. No, no couch. Uh-uh, Sadie. No. No, that is not your bone. No, that's Dobby's. No. Sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> or do you still think you can figure out revelation of my word without the Holy Spirit guiding you? You know how you truly get my spirit? It's praying to me. It's worshiping me. It's believing me. And it's your childlike faith. I love you. I wish for no one to perish. Look up and look around. All these signs are coming. You will see aurora lights everywhere. You will see red skies, two moons. You will experience more earthquakes, powder outages, and lightning strikes. You will see halos around the sun and the moon. You will see Revelation 22 come to life. How did John's vision of the end of the world go? How did I show him? What did I let him see first? Isn't it my goal to save everyone first? I showed him when the church was going to be taken away. Revelation 22, do you have the revelation yet? Is everything in order? Is everything reversed? Do my seals match with the bowls? I told you to look at the numbers. Are you looking at the numbers? What do they mean? I'm your Lord God and I've spoken. Waves, my child, waves. Huge tsunami waves coming. They're going to flood the East Coast. New York, New Jersey, Washington, D.C. are going to get hit the worst. The end is here, children, but it's just the beginning. It's not too late for me to save you. I've warned you with so many messages. I've warned you with so many anointed ones. I've warned you with so many signs. Are you heeding my warnings? Wake up, O sleeper. I am at the door. My time, my date is in my word. My prophets have already found it. Are you searching for it? Are you searching for me? I love you. Believe in me. Give me your heart, child, and I will save you. Look at the scriptures. What do they all have in common? For thine is the power and glory, for the kingdom is at hand. 
I love you. I'm your redeemer, your Adonai, your rescuer, and I have spoken. <clears throat> then he gave me Revelation 22, 3. Wow, I had no idea there were all 22s. I never even noticed this. Okay, that's weird. And there shall be no more. So now I have to count. This is May 15th. Okay, and he says something about completion date, 22. So maybe on God's calendar, seven days from the 15th. I don't know. My dog is bugging me. <laughs> and there shall, Revelation 22, 3. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be it, and his servant shall serve him. Re Proverbs eleven three. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Matthew 22, 3. And sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. Revelation 14, 7. Saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him who had made heaven and earth, the sea and springs of water. John 1, 12. But as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. <clears throat> Genesis 41, 3. Then behold, seven other cows came up after them out of the river, ugly and gaunt, and stood by the other cows on the bank of the river. Uh, Mark 2, 2, 2. And no one puts new wine skins into old, or, and no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskins. The wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined, but new wine must be put into new wineskins. Let me take Dobby out. I'm so sorry. Come here, Dobby. Dogs. I don't have children. I just have dogs. But they're all old and very needy. Okay. Come on, guys. Oh. Sadie, come on. Go on. Go outside. Okay. I'm on May 18th, 2023. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.5 Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? 1 Corinthians 3.9 For we are God's fellows workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. Revelation 8.6 so, so the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. 1 Peter 2.7 Therefore to you who believe he is precious, but to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Malachi 1.9 but now entreat God's favor that he may be gracious to us while this is being done by your hands. Will he accept you favorably, says the Lord of hosts. Philippians 1.4 Always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy. 2 Thessalonians 2.6 And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. 1 Kings 1.11 So Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you not heard that Adon... Adonijah, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David, our Lord, does not know it. Job 9.4, God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who has hardened him against him and prospered. Deuteronomy 12.8, you shall not at all do as we are doing here today, every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes. Uh, Matthew 9.11, and when the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Here's a message. My child, waves are coming. Tsunami waves. It starts on the Caribbean island, then the Gulf of Mexico. The shift in the atmosphere is going to pull the gravity. Green skies are coming everywhere. The magnetic centricity is going to create rainbow colors in the skies. I told you it's going to be very beautiful, but very ominous at the same time. My children and chosen ones, you are going to feel everything in your spirit. I have opened up the heavens so you will see my glory. You are going to feel the magnetic pull towards heaven. The earth is going to shift, causing seismic activity. Are you awake yet? I'm coming. Love you. I love you. I'm opening up the windows of heaven. I'm pouring out the blessings. I told you in the end times I would pour out my spirit. My child, the door is the key. I gave you the key to my kingdom. I gave you the key to my salvation. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? I am your redeemer. I am your rescuer. Come to me, child. 
Let me give you rest. Let me take away your burdens. Nukes, my child, nukes are going to hit. Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Louisiana, New Orleans will be no more. I will destroy the wicked. My judgment is here. My wrath is here. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one poison the mind of my children. I am your creator. I am the Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the end. I am coming. I am coming, my people, to take you to the wedding feast. My child, I am coming. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up, my child. Let me go check on the dogs. Wake them up, my child. I am coming. I am coming. Tell them, my child, I am coming. Wake them up, my child. I am sounding the alarm. There is no more time. I am at the door. You need to get on the boat now. You need to not wait another second to come to me, to lay down at my feet and worship me. I am your God. I am your Savior. I am your salvation. Why do you worship other gods? Why do you bow down to other gods? I am the one that went and died for you on the cross. I'm the one that shed my blood for you. Why can't you see that I'm trying to save you? You're going to wish that you listen because I am coming. I am coming. Wake them up, my child. Sorry, to find my dog. Wake them up. I am at the door. There are no more warnings. My warnings are final. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one change my creation. I will not let the evil one... Um... Oh, poison the minds of my children. First John 2, 9. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. Matthew 25, 6. And at midnight a cry was heard. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go out to meet him. First Peter 2, 3. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Okay, here's another message. I'm coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. I'm at the door. There are no more warnings. My warnings are final. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one change my creation. I will not let the evil one poison the minds of my children. Storms are coming, my child. Storms are coming. Geomagnetic centricity. It's going to pull the airwaves. The earth is going to shift. High magnitudes. California is going to fall. The Madrid fault line is going to break. Yellowstone is going to erupt. Tsunami waves are going to cover the East Coast. They are going to knock down New York buildings, fire in the cities, fire in the streets. I don't want any of this for you, my child. I'm trying to save you. If you come to me and you believe and confess with your mouth that I am Lord, I will save you. My father sent me to save the world, not condemn it. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? Why can you not see that I'm trying to save you and I'm coming for you? And when the door closes, it shuts. There will be no more warnings. My spirit will be removed. You have to seek my glory by the death of the sword. I love you, my child. Please wake up. I want everyone at the wedding feast. You are my prize. I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. Believe in me. Stay inside, Sadie. Repent. Come to me with all of your heart, with full repentance, and I will save you. Change your mind and believe and confess that I am Lord. I wish for no one to perish. I am your deliverer. I am your Abba. I am your Adonai. I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. Come on. Come on. Uh-uh. Inside. 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 Matthew 11. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Job 14.6. Look away from him that he may rest till like a hired man he finishes his day. All right, give me one second. I have to get Dobby. He's blind, so I have to pick him up. All right, come here, Dobby. Come here, buddy. Hopefully he'll be quiet now. <clears throat> All right. Habakkuk 1.3. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble for plundering and vi violence are before me? There is strife and contention arises. Zephaniah 2.8. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the insults of the people of Ammon with which they have reproached my people and made arrogant threats against their borders. Zephaniah 2.5, woe to the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Shetaritites, the word of the Lord is against you. O can and land of the Philistines, I will destroy you so there shall be no inhabitant. Okay, here's another message. I'm out of breath now, I've been running all around. I'm so out of shape. Okay, airwaves are going to open up the portals. It has to do with the satellite 512. They are hiding it from you, my child. It's going to become black death. This is going to consume the world and many will die. 
do not question my words. Everything my prophets speak is from me. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I will not be mocked. My coming is final. I'm trying to wake you up because I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from destruction. I'm trying to save you from calamity. I'm trying to save you from chaos. My child, I want them to see because I want them to believe. The airways of 512 is going to cause plagues and famine, death and destruction. It's going to be a wave over the people. 512 is the black death, it's the death rider, it's darkness, it's the plague. Many will die, it will come after I take my chosen ones. I'm calling my people up. I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial that is coming upon this entire world. I will protect my people, I will deliver my people. I am the great I am, I am your creator. I will not let the devil mock my creation. The V is not the mark. I told you the mark was coming. I told you what the mark was. The mark comes when pandemic increases. The financial institutions will be set up. Your medical records will be on the palm of your hand. Your social credit score will be attached. You will not be able to participate in society unless you take the mark. I do not want any of this for my children. I wish for not one to perish. First John 1 John 1.5 This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Ephesians 2.11 Therefore remember that you once Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made in the flesh by hands. First Thessalonians 2.9 For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Um, Genesis 14, 7. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, that is Kadesh, and attacked all the country of the Amalekites and also the Amorites who dwelt in Hazazan, Tamar. Revelation 11, 6. These have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy, and they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Matthew 24, 9, Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Hmm. Joel 2, 11, The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? 1 Peter 2, 4, coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. Genesis 1, 8, and God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. Judges 2, 5, then they called the name of that place, Bochum, and they sacrificed there to the Lord. Jeremiah 1, 9, then the Lord put his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. John three twelve. If you have told you earth, if I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? John three sixteen. If I have told you, oh, I've yeah, I, did, I forgot to copy that one. But that's just when he sent his son. He sent his son to die on the cross so we would have everlasting life. Okay. Um, May nineteen twenty twenty three. My child, wake them up. I am sounding the alarm. I will not be mocked. I will not let my creation be mocked. Do you not understand, my child, what is coming? Famines, pestilence, pandemics, martial laws, everything I am telling you is true. You need to come to me. You need to confess that I am Lord and believe me with all of your heart and I will save you. There is no more time. Listen to my prophets. They speak truth. Every single word will come to pass. My child, wake up. I am at the door. There's reasons why I'm telling you these things. No more time. First Thessalonians 2, 3, 4, our exhortation did not come from error or uncleanliness, nor was it in deceit. Uh, oh, whoops. Um, Philippians 2, 7, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant. Revelation 19, 3, and coming in the likeness of men again, they said, Alleluia, after smoke rises up forever and ever. Genesis, um, or sorry, John 5, 4, for an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water, he has made well of whatever disease we had. Disease we had. Genesis 3, 6. 
So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and ate, Exodus 2.12. So he looked this way and that way, and when he saw no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. Joel 1.5, awake you drunkards and weep and wail, or weep and wall all you drunkards of wine because of the new wine, for it has been cut off from your mouth. Deuteronomy 1 9. And I spoke to you at the time, say I alone am not able to bear you. Oh, here's another message. My child, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wake them up, my child, wake them up, my child, wake them up, my child, I'm coming, I'm coming. Tell them, my child, I'm coming. Wake up, my child, I am sounding the alarm. There is no more time. I'm at the door. You need to get on the boat now. You need to not wait another second to come to me, to lay down at my feet and worship me. I'm your God. I'm your Savior. I'm your salvation. Why do you worship other gods? Why do you bow down to other gods? I am the one that went and died for you on the cross. I am the one that shed my blood for you. Why can't you see that I'm trying to save you? You are going to wish that you listen because I am coming. Um... I wrote those out. Let's see. Um, I may not have, but here's the scriptures. Second Thessalonians 2 5, 1 Corinthians 3 9, Revelation 8 6, 1 Peter 2 7, Malachi 1 9, Philippians 1 4, 2 Thessalonians 2 6. <clears throat> These were the ones that like happened while I was in the middle of the live, I believe, or recording. That's why they're all like kind of all over the place. First Kings one eleven, Job nine four, Deuteronomy twelve eight, and Matthew nine eleven. Another message: I'm coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. I'm I'm at the door. There are no more warnings. My warnings are final. I will not be mocked. I will not let the evil one change my creation. I will not let the evil one poison the minds of my children. First John two nine, Matthew twenty five six. 1 Peter 2, 3. Storms are coming, my child. Storms are coming. Geomagnetic centricity. It's going to pull the airwaves. The earth is going to shift. High magnitudes. California is going to fall. Oh, you know what? This might be the same one. I'll just, I'll just continue to read it. I think I wrote it down twice when I was doing the scriptures. My bad. The Madrid fault line is going to break. Yellowstone is going to erupt. Tsunami waves are going to cover the East Coast. They're going to knock down New York buildings, fire in the cities, fire in the streets. I don't want any of this for you, my child. I'm trying to save you if you come to me and you believe and confess with your mouth that I am Lord. Yeah, that was a repeat. I'm so sorry about that. Um, let's see if this one is to you. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused now, but... I will save you. My father sent me to save the world, not condemn it. Why do you deny me? Why do you reject me? Why can you not see that I'm trying to save you and I'm coming for you? And when the door closes, it shuts. There will be no more warnings. My spirit will be removed. You will have to seek my glory by the death of the sword. I love you, my child. Please wake up. I want everyone at the wedding feast. You are my prize. I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. Believe in me. Repent. Come to me with all of your heart. With full repentance and I will save you. Change your mind and believe and confess that I am Lord. I wish for no one to perish. I'm your deliverer. I'm your Abba. I'm your Adonai. I'm your Lord God and I've spoken. Uh, spoken. Matthew 1 11, Job 14 6, Habakkuk 1 3, Zephaniah 2 8 and 2 5. Airwaves are going to go open up the portals. It has to do with satellite 5 12. Yeah, I think this was a repeat. That's okay. It's always good to get it more than once, right? They are hiding it from you, my child. It's going to become black death. This is going to consume the world and many will die. Do not question my words. Everything my prophets speak is from me. I am the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will not be mocked. My coming is final. I'm trying to wake you up because I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you from destruction. I'm trying to save you from calamity. I'm trying to save you from chaos. My child, I want them to see because I want them to believe. Um, the airways of 512 is going to cause plagues and famine, death and destruction. It's going to be a wave over the people. 512 is the black death. It's the death rider. It's darkness. It's the plague. Many will die. It will come after I take my chosen ones. I'm calling my people up. I told you I would keep you from the hour that is coming upon the entire world. I will protect my people. I will deliver my people. Um, 
I am the great I am. I am your creator. I will not let the devil mock my creation. The V is not the mark. I told you the mark was coming. I told you what the mark was. The mark comes when pandemic increases. The financial institution will be set up. Jesus Christ. Your medical records will be on the palm of your hand. Your social credit score will be attacked. attached. You will not be able to participate in society unless you take the mark. I do not want any of this for my children. I wish for not one to perish. 1 John 1, 5, Ephesians 2, 11, 1 Thessalonians 2, 9, Genesis 14, 7, Revelation 11, 6, John 3, 5, Matthew 24, 9, Joel 2, 11, 1 Peter 2, 4, Genesis 1, 8, Judges 2, 5, and Jeremiah 1, 9. So he literally gave me all of that while I was live. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Um, okay, so May 19th. I'm sorry. My child, tell them I'm coming. My child, I'm praying, I'm praying. I've been past the scroll. I'm trying to wake you up. My father told me to come and get you. I'm coming. You need to wake up and realize that I am coming. My words are true and my words will come to pass. Everything that I have told my chosen prophets, my anointed ones, they do not speak their words, they speak mine. I speak through them, you guys mock them and you scoff them and you come after my anointed ones. I have the sword coming for you, the ones who will not lay down their lives, the ones who will not believe in me and trust in me. I do not want any of this for my children. I love my children. 1 Corinthians 1 3. May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. John 1 11, He came to his own and his own did not receive him. Ezekiel 2 4. For they are impudent and stubborn children. I am sending you to them and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God. Malachi 1 5. When you see the destruction for yourself, she will say, Truly the Lord's greatness reaches far beyond Israel's borders. 1 Peter 2 8. He is the stone that makes people stumble, the rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they do not obey God's word, and so they meet the fate that was planned for them. Genesis 14, 9. They fought against King Ked or Laomor of Elam, King Tidal of Goram, King Amraphel of Babylonia, and King Ariok of Elisar, four kings against five. <clears throat> Job 31, 3. Isn't it calamity for the wicked and misfortune for those who do evil? Here's a message. I'm coming, my child. I'm coming. Wake them up, my child. Wake them up. There is no more time. There is no more time. I'm coming. I told you in the end times that the secrets of Daniel, that I had him put away until the end would be opened. I told you I would be past the scroll. Do you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. No one can come to me unless they are born again with the Spirit and water. I am your living water. I am the truth, the way, and the life. I came to the world as a man in the flesh. And I died on the cross for you. I shed my blood on the cross for you so that you may be saved. My father did not send me to condemn the world, but to save it. But you are wicked in your hearts and you are deceived. And you are letting Satan deceive you. You practice witchcraft and you practice sorcery and you bow down to other gods. But I am your God. I am your true Messiah. There is no other God that can save you. Colossians 3.2 Set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Ephesians 2.4 But God who is rich is in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. Philippians 1 7 just as it is right for me to thank this of you all because I have you in my heart inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel you all are partakers with me of grace um Job 19 3 those 10 times you have reproached me you are not ashamed that you have wronged me Matthew 29 11 when they heard the king they departed and behold the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy and when they had come into the house they saw the young child with mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented gifts to him gold frankincense and myrrh okay first john 1 4 and these things we write to you that you your Joy may be full. Second Thessalonians two seven three eight. But we were gentle among you, just as nursing mothers cherishes her own children. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you had become dear to us. Mark one nine. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth, when you are invited, or Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Luke 14, 8, when you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. Literally, he gave me those messages why I am in person. Like, I don't have those memorized. It's amazing. 
Okay, here's the message. I'm coming, my child, I'm coming. The groom came and the people slept. Their oil lamps were not full. Do not be a foolish virgin, be a wise virgin. You come to me and confess that I am Lord with childlike faith and I will save you. I wish for not one to perish. My child, I will save you. Destruction, chaos, pandemics, pestilence, earthquakes, tsunamis, radioactive waves. Radiation is going to go through the cities. Fire. Mm, fire through the cities. You are going to watch the buildings burn. I'm speaking through my anointed ones to wake you up because there is no more time. Once they are caught up, my spirit will no longer be here. There will be nothing here to guide you. The only way to my to me and my kingdom is through dying under the swords. The evil one, Obama, is going to rise. Once my people are taken, darkness is going to fall. There will be worldwide blackouts everywhere. EMP, there's going to be so much energy through the sky because the heavens and the portals are opening up. But the enemy, the evil one, is the is going to make the portals for evil, for their destruction, for their chaos. You have no idea what is coming. Please wake up. Please wake up. I've given you free will. I have, I have to. You have to choose now. Now is your time to choose. You cannot love me and love this world. You cannot love evil and love good. My child, I'm coming. I'm sounding the alarm. I'm coming. The angels are going to blow the trumpets. You will see my glory. You will see me in the clouds soon. I've chosen my anointed ones to uncover my mysteries of the end times. You come to me with childlike faith and you believe in me. I will open up the kingdoms of heaven for you. I will pour down the blessings for you. Only I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you hope, to give you a future. Delight in me, child, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Rest in me. Do not lean on the wicked. Do not trust the evil one. The mark is coming and the mark is evil. You won't be able to participate in society. You won't be able to buy or sell anywhere. It has been their plan from the very beginning, but they can do nothing unless I allow it. And time is up. My grace period is almost over. I do nothing without revealing it to my prophets first. Almost 3.11. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, an adversary shall be all around the land. He shall say, says your strength from you and your palaces shall be plundered. Jeremiah 1, 2, to whom the word of the Lord came in three days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the 13th year of his reign. Matthew 14, 8, so she having been prompted by her mother said, give me John the Baptist's head on a platter. Job 2, 11, now when Job's three friends heard of all the adverse, adversity that had come upon him, each one came from his own place, Eliphaz the Temanite, Malachi 1, 3, but Esau I have hated and laid waste his mountains and his heritage for the jackals of the wilderness. It looks like he's showing um, different people coming after different people. Like when he says, love your neighbor, he's showing examples of that, I think, in this message. Zechariah 2.9, for surely I will shake my hand against them and they shall become spoiled for their servants. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Jude 1.4, for certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Judges 5, 8, they chose new gods, then there was war in the gates, not a shield or spear was soon was seen among 40,000 in Israel, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I might, that, that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and of hope, and a hope. Ezekiel 72, some of man pose a riddle and speak a parable to the house of Israel. Isaiah 49, hell from beneath is excited about you, for you. You see how he said riddle? I told you he speaks in riddles. People were saying he doesn't speak in riddles. Yes, he does. <laughs> Isaiah 14, 9. Hell from beneath is excited about uh, you to meet you at your coming. It stirs up the dead for you, all the chief ones of the earth that has raised up from their thrones, all the kings of the nations. John three twelve. If I've told you earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? I like when he says heavenly things. Because I, I named my channel Seek Heavenly Things. So that was kind of cool. It was weird because he had said that before. You know, I named my channel. It's kind of neat. Okay. Now I said a new heaven and a new earth for the... Uh, what is this? Oh, this was the message of the day. So we'll skip that. Okay. And... So much in here, like songs in here too. I didn't realize. Mm, it's okay. May twentieth, twenty twenty-three. Colossians one eleven. 
Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. First Peter 2.11 Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Jeremiah 3.5 Will he remain angry forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, you have spoken and done evil things as you were able. John 4, 8, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Matthew 24, 11. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. So my foot is shaking right now, and I heard his thoughts in my head. Tell them, my child, I'm coming. <sighs> that my words are, are true. Revelation 19, 6. And I heard, as it were, the voice of great multitude as the sound of many waters and the sound of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Job 38, Job 38, 2. Who is this who darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Almost 4, 3. You will go out through broken walls, each one straight ahead of her, and you will be cast into Harmon, says the Lord. First Thessalonians 2, 9. For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Deuteronomy 2, 8. And when we pass beyond our brethren, um... The descendants of Esau, sorry, I lost my page, who dwell in Seir, away from the road of the plain, away from Eloth and Ezion, Geber. Okay, and then um, here's a message. My child, destruction is coming. Harpazo is coming. I'm picking up my bride on May 22nd, 1853, Israel time. 1838 will foreshadow the events of my coming. I gave you signs in the heavens. I gave you warnings after warnings, yet you still deny me, you still reject me. Where is your faith? Where is your love? I told you to love one another, not condemn your brother and sister. Now remember we're on God's calendar. We learned that the hard way when we all showed up on May 22nd. But he said that in previous messages, and we just didn't catch it. We were too excited about his coming. I gave you warnings after warnings, yet you still deny me, you still reject me. Where is your faith? Where is your love? I told you to love one another, not condemn your brother and sister. The enemy's plan. Oh, I got to pause it. Okay, so sorry about that. The HVAC guy came in here. All right, so uh, let me just start from the paragraph again. My child destruction is coming. Harpazo is coming. I'm picking up my bride on May 22nd, 1853, Israel time. Dobby, hush. 1838 will foreshadow the events of my coming. I gave you signs in the heavens. I gave you warnings after warnings, yet you still deny me, you still reject me. Where's your faith? Where's your love? I told you to love one another, not condemn your brother and sister. The enemy's plan is in full motion. He will not stop until he is every last soul. Are you testing spirits? Are you attacking your neighbor? Did I tell you to judge? There's only one judge, the creator of heaven and earth. I am the only judge. How dare you attack my anointed ones? They are trying to wake you up. They are trying to save you. Dobby, I'll feed you when I'm done. Chaos, destruction, famines, pestilence, earthquakes, tenfold. Cities will be destroyed. China will invade America right after destruction. Germany gets taken down along with America. Australia will be on their own. They will dictate their own laws for a while. But then chaos and destruction will come for them next. The end is here. The end is now. I told you to get on the boat. My warnings are final. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I am your true Messiah. I died for you and shed my blood on the cross for you and rose on the third day. So you may be saved. Where is your faith, child? I told you what is coming. Do you even know what black death is? It's going to be the abomination to your soul if you die before believing in me. Do you think I want this for my children? Do you think I'm going to condone this evil forever? Did I not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? Did I not flood the earth? Oh, you think my wrath is non-existent. I think your prayers are non-existent. I think your faith is non-existent. I see the doubt in your hearts and it saddens me. I see you about to perish and it breaks my heart. I told you to confess I am Lord and believe in me with all of your heart and I will save you. I told you every knee shall bow. Dobby, hush. I told you every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess I am Lord. You wicked child, you prowl around like a lion seeking whom you may devour. Did you come with correction and love to your brother and sister? Or did you obliterate them and shame them publicly? Do you know how foolish you are going to look when the world goes up in smoke? My grace period is almost over and there is no more grace. I will come back like a lion and my judgment is going to fall in this world. 
this is not my wish for you. This is my last resort. I have poured my spirit out on my chosen ones to give you a chance to repent and change your mind. I gave you many chances to believe in me, but instead of seeking me in prayer and worship and reading my word, you are wasting your time stalking and scoffing your neighbor. There is no fear if you are walking with me. I bring only peace to my chosen ones. I protect my chosen ones and my children. You have to have faith like a child if you want to enter my kingdom. The wedding feast is being prepared. There is no more delay. I gave you my seven-day warning and the trumpets will sound. My lukewarm children and my worker bees, what did I die for? What are you doubting that I died to save you? I told you the key to my kingdom. To get to my kingdom, I told you the gate is very narrow. You think because you speak my name with your mouth and claim to be a believer, I can't really see what's in your heart. I see everything. I see you trying to destroy my people with your words. You insidious heathen, if you aren't believing me, I will say I never knew you. You who practices idolatry, there is still gentleness and kindness in my heart for you. I told you I don't even want the wicked to perish. I want you to repent and believe in me. Bow down to me and worship me with all of your heart. If your heart is wicked and you believe in me, I will change it. I will give you a new heart of flesh and get rid of your heart of stone. I'll renew your mind and take you to the altar and honor you as my bride. Your time is almost up. The clock is about to stop and reach the midnight hour. Then darkness will fall. The Harpazo's energy as I open up the heavens far and wide is going to create an electromagnetic impulse and gravity is going to pull this world apart. States will fall under and map will sever. Tsunami will flood half the world. It's all coming, my child. Wake up and don't be casted out. There is weeping and gnashing of teeth. I am your creator and I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial coming on this world if you just believe in me or seek death and see my wrath. But my time is almost up. I am your Lord God, your Messiah, and I have spoken. Hold on one second. Let me put Dobby down. It's driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy, Dobby. Dobby. Alright, go on. <laughs> okay. Jude 1 5. But I want to remind you that you once knew that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, after destroyed those who did not believe. Habakkuk 2 7. Will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you and you will become their booty? Lamentations 1 9. Her uncleanliness is in her skirt. She did not consider her destiny. Therefore, a collapse was awesome. She had no comfort. Or, o Lord, behold, my affliction for the enemy is exalted. Ezekiel 11, 3, who say the time is not near to build houses, the city is the cauldron, and we are the meat. <laughs> Judges 4, 3, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord for Jab and had 900 chariots of iron, and for 20 years he had harshly oppressed the children of Israel. Mark 14, 8, she has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Luke 13, 3. I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Colossians 1, 4, since we heard of your faith in Christ and of your love for all the saints. Okay, I love you. Wake up, children. I'm picking up my bride. I'm coming. I gave you the midnight cry as your warning. I told you to look at 7 and look at my completion date. Count from 15 to 7. What do you get? 22. Have you looked at Revelation 22? Have you read it forward and backwards? Have you looked at Enoch 22? Do my words become deaf to you? I'm leaving you a gift. My prophets have anointed to I've anointed them to speak. This is your instruction manual for what's to come. Read it, learn it, and live it. Don't forget to watch my movie, The Prodigal Son, and there will be a journey from the stars. Lights, camera, action, game, set, match. It's finished. The first will be last, and the last will be first. Humble yourselves and get rid of your pride. You will never be unteachable, you hypocrites. Sevenfold and more earthquakes are coming. Get ready, I'm at the door, and you will hear the trumpets soon. Your father, your messiah, your deliverer and rescuer. And I have spoken. So the messages previously led up to this, and he talked about his calendar. He didn't talk about his calendar in this particular message, but we'll, we'll check the next one. Um, but he did in the previous ones. So I don't really know what he's doing. Um, the last thing I heard was he's sorting out his wheat and tares. But there's clues in there. I just I haven't figured them all out yet. John 1 11, he came to his own and his own did not receive him. Job 6 2, oh, that my grief were fully weighed and my calamity laid within on the scales. Hebrews 4 9, those remain, there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. Psalm 91 6, nor of the pestilent that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Okay. Psalm 82 4, 
Deliver the poor and needy, free them from the hand of the wicked. Malachi 1, 6. A son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I'm a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you priests who despise my name. Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? Jeremiah 2, 4. Hear the word, hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob and all the families of the house of Israel. Matthew 3, 11. And I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals that I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. All I know is I see 22 everywhere and double numbers everywhere, and I'm just not sure what it all means and what the Lord is doing. But he's doing something. Romans 9, 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises? Ephesians 2, 3, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. Believe in me and confess I am Lord, and repent from your disbelief, and I will save you. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. My sheep hear my voice, and they hear me calling you home. Are you my sheep? I love you. You're Adonai, you're Yahweh, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 3, 5, all these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many rural towns. Ephesians 2, 5, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace, you have been saved. 1 John 2, 9, he who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. <clears throat> John three seventeen. for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved, but through him might be saved, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay, let's see what this is. Um, this was the message of the day. So many times. All right, so he did give me a message on May 22nd. Let's see what he has to say. Colossians 1 3. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praying always for you, Ephesians 2, 7, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards his Christ Jesus. First Peter 2, 11. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Second Thessalonians 2, 9. The coming of the lawless one is according to work of Satan, Satan with all the power signs and lying wonders. Oh, you little faith, my child. I told you my word is true. I told you I'm coming. And I am coming. My church, you feel that supernatural peace. That is me. Why are you questioning my words? Man will never understand what the spirit can understand. Has the clock struck yet? Has the precursor of darkness happened? Have the meteorites fallen? Do you see a light show? You showed up for my rehearsal. What do I say in my word? I say, get ready for the groom is coming. What do I say about wedding clothes? You must have the proper attire on. I guess he meant pick up his bride. He means something different by that. See, we never understand as humans. We just assume. We should never assume. I keep messing up on that. I got to work on that. I'm very new at this. You must have the proper attire on. Are your lamps filled with oil or have you gone back to sleep? Did I send my servants out to warn you? Did I send my servants out to invite you to the wedding? Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. The world is about to shake and you will see my glory. I see everything. Have you come with love and correction or are you emptying all your oil out of your lamps? Where is your faith? Where is your belief? <clears throat> everything is according to my timing and my plans and my will. How dare you scoff at my anointed ones, my words. You will eat those words. The power of the tongue will be death or life. Faith has been tested here. Patience has been tested here. I told you to love one another. I told you to lean on one another with words and encouragement. Your eyes are blind and your hearts are wicked. Destruction is coming. My light show is coming. My movie is coming. I told you to watch. You will see it. I am opening up the floodgates of heaven. I am picking up my bride. My chosen ones and my children, darkness will fall. Everything I say means something. <clears throat> I think that's interesting that he said picking up my bride and then he says everything I say means something. So maybe there's another play on words there. I wish you would just be straightforward. Jesus, take this heaven silence to seek me and pray to me and worship me. Use your time wisely. It will be your last. I'm your Adonai, your Redeemer. 
your rescuer and I have spoken. The prodigal son, I told you, you were the prodigal sons. Come to me, believe in me, and confess your sins to me. I will save you. I wish for not one to perish. Even the wicked, I will invite them in, in mm. with full repentance. Mm. Get mm. your wedding clothes on my, on my coming is soon. When the door shuts, no more wedding guests, and you will have to die for my glory. I'm your Abba, and I love you, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 2.4. And command the people, saying, You are about to pass through the territory of your brethren, the descendants of Esau, who live in Seir, and they will be afraid of you. Therefore, watch yourselves carefully. Hush, Dobby. Deuteronomy, or Mark 1, 5. Then all the land of Judea and those from Jerusalem went out to him and were all baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. Leviticus 3, 7. If he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. Job 14, 9. Yet at the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. James 1, 6. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. John 3, 8. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit, Matthew 14, 9. And the king was sorry nevertheless because of the oaths and because of those who sat with him, he commanded it to be given to her. Matthew 25, 6. And a midnight cry was heard, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out and meet him. John 3, 4. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jeremiah 1, 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Mm. Colossians 3, 8. But now you yourselves have put off these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Matthew 14, 6. I feel like I have to sneeze. But when Herod's birthday was celebrated, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. It was cool because, you know, we got a dancing scripture there. Kenna got a dancing scripture. Cassie got a dancing scripture. And somebody else got a dance. I think Shirley Wise or Lies got a dancing scripture. So I thought that was neat. We're going to be dancing soon with Jesus. Second Peter 2, 3. By covetousness, they will exploit you with deceptive words for a long time. Their judgment has not been idle. And their destruction does not slumber. For Thessalonians 2, 3. For our exhortation did not come from error or uncleanliness, nor was it in deceit. Revelation 21, 3. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, God himself, to be with them and be their God. Rev uh, Revelation 22, 5. There shall be no night there. There should need no lamp nor light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. What is it, Dobby? May 24th, 20... Oh, see, I was tired. I put 2024. <sighs> okay. Deuteronomy 3, 5. Dobby! Stop! I gotta pick him up. little guy makes so much noise you make so much noise I can't pet you and and read at the same time Deuteronomy 3 5 all these cities were fortified with high walls gates and bars besides a great many rural towns Leviticus 2 7 if your offering is a grain offering baked in a covered pan it shall be made of fine flour with oil Almost three four. With a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey, will a young lion cry out of his den if he has caught nothing? Zephaniah two nine. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be like Sodom and the people of Ammon like Gomorrah, overrun with weeds and salt pits and a perpetual desolation. The residue of my people shall plunder them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. Okay, I move him. <laughs> I'll feed you in a second, buddy. He's hungry. You're hungry. I'm salty. Okay, message. My children, or did I say? Um, no, Genesis 21, 3. And Abraham called the name of the son who was born to him, who Sarah bore to him. Stop licking me, Dobby. You're making noise. Exodus 4, 11. So the Lord said to him, who has made man's mouth or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind, hath not I the Lord? Here's the message. 
My children, your hearts are so wicked and your eyes are so blind. You only see what is right in front of you. You put limitations on me and what I have been speaking. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I split the Red Sea. I poured down vengeance on the wicked. Have you prayed to me for discernment? Have you asked me what my plans are? Why are you judging and condemning your neighbor? I told you to take this time to reflect, seek, pray, and worship me. Have you done that? Have you opened the Bible today? How many minutes a day do you read my word? How many minutes a day do you pray on your brother and sister in Christ, seeking whom you may devour? I told you, you will eat your words. My destruction and vengeance is coming for the wicked. It's coming for the unbelievers, the mockers and scoffers who doubt that I exist. I told you to come with love and correction, but you don't. You embarrass and you publicly shame your neighbor. Is this the spirit of love, gentleness, and kindness? So ask yourselves what spirit is truly talking to you. It's not the Holy Spirit. Has my anointed ones bashed you? Have they come with anger and malice towards you? I told you the truth to have faith like a child is to see the unseen. My prophets do not know all the plans I have stored for them. They prophesy in part, but they have childlike faith and they trust in me. They are willing to lose everything to gain that perfect peace in me. I told you not to dump your oil lamps. I told you to keep them filled to the brim and let them spill over. Keeping your oil lamps full is believing in me. Is having... Is having childlike faith. You mock and scoff is not the fruit of the spirit. Are you thirsty? Hold on. Daddy, you're making me take forever on this video. <laughs> I mean, it's already a long video, but now it's going to be, like, extra long. Okay. Here. Wawa? Do you want some Wawa? Water? All right. Well, what are you looking me for, then? Goodness. Okay. Um... You mock and scoff is not the fruit of the spirit, it's the fruit of the devil. I gave you the seven day warning to get on the boat. So are you sinking or drowning right now? Everything I say means something. The world knows what is coming. The elite knows what is coming. I have allowed it to commence. You will see their preparation is not bestowed upon them. It is detrimental and of utter importance to prepare for what I have allowed to come. My judgment is here. I will catch up my bride and yes, you will never know the day or the hour. So I think that's interesting. He just said, catch up my bride. Caught up is rapture. So pick up my bride. Maybe that is something different. I didn't even get that until now. Yes, you'll never know the day or the hour. So my words mean something. Reader, pay attention. Everything I speak means something. The pole shift is coming. The EMP is coming. Radioactive waves is coming. I'm trying to warn you because I wish for not one to perish. I speak in parables and riddles, which man will never understand. Yes, we know that, Jesus. Only the Spirit will have true understanding. Are you led by the Holy Spirit? Are you seeking him for discernment? Some of you have changed your hearts and you have come to believe in me. The angels in heaven are rejoicing, but some of you are stone cold full of pride and your words and your hearts will make you perish. You will see my glory and every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess I am Lord. I love you children. Put down your wicked ways and trust in me. Pray to me and worship me. I will never lead you astray and you will always be guided by the fruit of the spirit. Silence in heaven won't be forever. It will be over very soon. I'm sorting out the wheat and the tares, and you will all so soon see your fruits. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken. Colossians 1.3, we give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. First Peter 2.8, in a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being... I think I mixed these out of order. Being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. First Timothy 2, 3, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. John 4, 11. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do I get that? Where do you get that living water? Stop licking my legs. First John 5, 6. This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it's the Spirit who bears witness, because the Spirit is truth. Job 14, 11, and as water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up, First Thessalonians 3, 6, but now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love, that you always have good remembrance of us, greatly desiring to see us as we also to see you. James 2, 5, listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he promised to those who love him? 
John 4, 9. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is that you, being a Jew, asked to drink from me, Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. All right, let me put him on the couch. Okay, I ran out of storage. I just start again. Uh, May 25th, 2023. 1 Thessalonians 1, 5. For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. Philippians 2, 7 but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. First Corinthians, excuse me, 3, 6. I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. Job 2, 9. Then, then his wife said to him, do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. I had to keep stopping and starting. My husband just called Hebrews 4, 11. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. Matthew 23 and 20 3. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. 2 John 1 3. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with you from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. Jeremiah 9 3. And, there, and like their bow, they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valiant for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Genesis 14, 8, and the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of <clears throat> Zebulun, and the king of Bela, that Azor went out and joined together in a battle in the valley of Siddim. Exodus 21, 11, and if he does not do these three for her, then she shall go out free without paying money. Luke 14, 9, and he who invited you and him come to say to you, give place to this man, then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. 1 Peter 2, 8. In a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. Here's a message. My child, army tanks are coming. France, Italy will experience explosions. The end is vamping up. Are you heeding my warnings? Fighter jets will be patrolling the skies. They are lining up their targets. I told you the enemy already has a date. Game, set, match, and destruction will commence. I'm trying to wake you up and save you. You have no idea what the enemy is planning. Children, do not lose heart. I'm coming so soon. I'm structuring my ending so you can see the end. Follow the final outline in the order. It in the order it will commence that way. Do not question my prophets. They speak truth. I told you to look at their fruits. Their fruits tell it all. Not all speaking are speaking on behalf of me. I did not call everyone to speak. I did not call everyone to teach. I'm your teacher. Are you listening to my words? Are you guided by the Holy Spirit for discernment? Children, I love you and I wish for not one to perish. Why are you blaspheming my name? Why aren't you loving your neighbor? Did I call you to speak judgment on your neighbor? Did I call you to condemn your neighbor? You have no idea what you are doing right now. Do not forget those you judge. You too will be judged by. Joel 2, 5. With a noise like chariots over mountaintops, they leap like the noise of a flaming fire that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array. Colossians 1, 7. As you also learn from me, Frefas, our dear fellow servant, who is faithful minister of Christ on your behalf message i told you the key to my salvation i told you to follow my commands if you love me you will i told you to walk in my spirit I told you to watch for my coming are you watching didn't i promise to keep you from the hour of trial coming on the whole world your discernment is weak your faith is weak i will stomp you down and you will perish where you stand wake up children my judgment is here and my wrath will pour down you are wicked and you are lukewarm and i will spit you out of my mouth there's no real love in your hearts how can you profess you love me whom you haven't seen and hate your neighbor whom you have seen i tell you the truth every withered branch who doesn't produce good fruit will be broken off and thrown into the fire you will suffer weeping and gnashing of teeth repent and believe in me if you give me your heart i will save you if you believe in me i will save you pray to me pray and seek my will for you if you delight in me, I will give you the desires of your heart. I love you. Come to me. I will change your wicked heart. I will give you a new heart of flesh and get rid of your heart of stone. I will renew your mind and you will be led by my spirit. No longer a child in the dark, you will have my light. I will always be with you. I will never leave you. Once chosen, always chosen. I won't blot your name out of my book. No angels or demons will snatch you out of my, my hand. I would leave all 99 sheep just to find that one. Are you, are you my sheep? Do you hear me calling you home? I'm the good shepherd. I'm the fisherman of men. Why aren't you following me? I'm the only one who can save you. Let me save you. I love you. I'm your Lord God, and I've spoken. Jude 1, 8 through 9. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel, in contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. 
Joel 1, 3, tell your children about it. Let your children tell their children and their children another generation. Zephaniah 1, 6. <clears throat> Those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought the Lord nor inquired of him. Mark 4, 7. And some seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and yielded no crop. Deuteronomy 1.11, may the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are and bless you as he has promised you. Exodus 14.3, for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are bewildered by the land. The wilderness has closed them in. Ezekiel 7.9, my eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. I will repay you according to your ways and your abominations will be in your midst. Then you shall know that I am the Lord who strikes. <clears throat> Exodus 2.11, now it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren. Message, you are saved by your faith and my grace. Please believe in me. My door is about to close. When the trumpet sounds, the door shuts. There is still time and the door is still open. If you confess I am Lord with your mouth and believe I died for you. <laughs> Repent, change your mind and believe in me. I will wash away your sins. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Have you laid down your idols for me? Have you picked up the cross and followed me? Have you given me your whole heart? I see everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts before they even speak a word. Ecclesiastes 3.2, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Philippians 1.7, just as it is right for me to thank this of you all, because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my chains. And in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. <clears throat> 1 Thessalonians 2.9 For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. John 2.9 When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. John 7.5 For even his brothers did not believe in him. 1 John 1.4 And these things we write to you that your joy may be full. <coughs> May 26, 2023 Colossians 1 9. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. James 3 9. With it, we bless our God and Father, and with it, we curse men who have been made in the simil similitude of God. 1 Thessalonians 4 8. Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Mark 3 8. In Jerusalem and Idumea, and beyond the Jordan and those from Tyre and Sodom and great multitude when they heard how many things he was doing came to him. Nehemiah 1 5 and I said pray Lord God of heaven O great and awesome God you who keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you and observe your commandments. Here's the message my child seven sevenfold destruction seven is the key it's here wake up Toronto explosion earthquake in Nebraska my child fires Lots of forest fires coming. Not only acres in the woods, but lots of farms will be destroyed. Missouri is one of them. The enemy is determined to burn it all, erasing the food supply and making it too difficult to produce more product, making it difficult for you to stay in your homes and breathe. I told you imminent domain is coming and you will not receive restitution. Do you see the chain of events happening? It's all falling into place. First collapse of economy brings in digital currency. Then pandemics will increase tenfold. Look around, it's happening now. You will hear even more soon even more soon, but it won't just be Marburg fungus and SARS respiratory. It's also going to be autoimmune diseases popping up everywhere. What are they spraying in the air right now? It's all part of their plan. They are trying to isolate you and trap you in a certain section of the country so they can quarantine, depopulate, and control you. Children, you have no idea what's coming. You haven't even begun to see what the Great Tribulation is. Do you really think I would let my bride, my prize, go through that kind of destruction and chaos? That wrath is for the wicked, not my chosen ones, not my children. I am a loving God. I am gentle and kind, but I'm also a wrathful God. When you deny my son, who I've sent to shed his blood and die for you on the cross, so you may be saved. If Jesus doesn't know you, I don't know you. If you believe in my son, accept his free gift of salvation. He will reveal you to me. Who am I, I say to you? Am I the father of the great I am? If you have seen Jesus, you have seen me. Do not twist scripture, children. It's all in my word. Being sent to you in the flesh, but also recognizing me and the spirit. Do you get the correlation now? <clears throat> 
It's written plainly for you to see. Have you seen it yet? You walk in deception and you are a work of you being cursed under the law. I told you if you were bound by the law, you were relying on your works to get you to heaven. What did I die for? Oh, you are foolish and wicked and your hearts are hardened. You speak and I didn't appoint you to speak. Did I tell you to attack your neighbor? Did I tell you to judge your neighbor? Have you asked me to reveal the truth to you? Most of you will perish for your lack of knowledge. I told you to seek me for discernment and pray for my will. Have you done that? My people warn you and warn you. I send you dreams. I send you visions. I fill my people with words of knowledge. I gave you so many signs and you still think my coming is far off. Wake up, O oh sleeper. I'm outlining the ending for you. Every word spoken will come to pass. Do you even know what I have created? Do you even know what the devil has mocked, mimicked, changed, and hid from you? Almost everything I have created, he has twisted it, including my word. I told you my true word was in the Geneva Bible. I told you the calendars have been changed. I have revealed my plan to my prophets. They are speaking what I have unsealed that I had hidden and closed up till the end for thousands of years. I told you in the end times it would be revealed to you. Wake up, children. This is the end, but it's only the beginning. The wicked will be enslaved and the righteous will be free. How do you become righteous? You believe in me and confess I am Lord. You give me your heart and you please me with your faith. I tell you the truth. You will have to come like a child to enter my kingdom. Your words and your scolding is going to be the death of you. Who else had pride? Who else fell? Lucifer did. Humble yourselves. Don't invent your own calling. Did I call everyone to be a teacher, a prophet, or a minister? I called you to seek my will and be revealed to you. Keep knocking and you will receive. When I'm behind you, what can man do? When I'm behind you, you won't fall. fail. Trust in me and I will show you the way. I love you. I love all of you, even the wicked. And I came to save the world, not condemn it. Calling my people up in it soon. Don't miss the call. I'm your deliverer, your rescuer, your father, and your Messiah. And I have spoken. Seek me with all of your hearts like the heart of David and I will save you. There's a reason I say David is the key. When you trust in me and believe in me with all your heart, you will have the key of David. Wake up, children. This hour could be your last. I am your Lord God and I have spoken. John 2, 9, when the master of the feast had tasted the water that has made wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. Second Peter 2, 3, by covetousness they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. Hush, Dabby. <clears throat> <laughs> Lamentations 1 9. Her uncleanness is in her skirt. She did not consider her destiny, therefore her collapse was awesome. She had no comforter. O oh Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy is exalted. <laughs> Psalm 16:8. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Dobby, just let me get through the video, please. Jeremiah 2 3. Israel was holiness to the Lord, the first fruits of his increase, all that devour him will offend. Disaster will come upon them, says the Lord. Isaiah 111. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and fat of fed kettle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or of lambs or goats. Dobby, stop. Hush. <clears throat> Matthew 6, 3. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Luke 14, 3. And Jesus answered and spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, It is lawful to heal on the Sabbath. 1 Thessalonians 2, 11. As you know how we extorted and comforted and charged every one of you as a father does his own children. John 3, 11. Most assuredly I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. <laughs> okay, May 27, 2023, First John 4, 9. And this love of God was manifested towards us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. First Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Exodus 2, 11. Now it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens. And he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his brethren, Philippines 1, 9. And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge, all discernment. <sighs> Colossians 1, 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. John 3, 8. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who's born of the spirit. Here's the message. My child, storms are coming. Geomagnetic storms, lightning strikes in Texas, New Jersey, Scranton, and Wyoming. You will see these lightning storms very soon. I just heard Texas got that. Someone messaged me. The moon will be covered in a haze. An increase in fog will cover many states. This is all going to lead into my light show. 
Make sure you film it. I will have some surprises in the skies. The whole world is going to see my glory. I will not stop until time is up. I wish for not one to perish. I'm trying to save the unsaved. I'm trying to save the wicked and the lukewarm. I'm trying to show the worker bees I died for a purpose and my word will not turn void. You persecute my prophets, but you don't have full understanding and logic of what my plans are. My people prophesy in part, and until I reveal, they only have obedience to live by. They are obedient to my words and wishes. They love me, so they obey my commands. Abraham didn't have full understanding of sacrificing his son until I intervened. I'm about to intervene, and you will all see my glory. Every word spoken, you will be held accountable for. If you are truly one of mine, you would have my spirit. So let's examine your hearts. I told you to love your neighbor. Do you call public shaming and embarrassment? <clears throat> love? My heart is breaking for the wicked. Unfortunately, they do not know what they are doing. They think they are doing me a service. Do I need defending the great I am? Did I call you to judge? I know people's intentions and I know everyone's heart. My anointed ones have pure hearts. They would never bash you or respond in an evil manner. I told you to examine their fruits. You are so lost, children. You seek wickedness. You stalk, you hunt, and you prey on the innocent. I will reward my innocent. I will reward my chosen and children. Why are your hearts so far from me? You speak blasphemous words from your mouth, yet you claim you are a Christian, a true believer. Many of you are very far from the truth. Unfortunately, time is almost up, so you will have to learn the hard way. I love you, children. Please turn your hearts back to me and repent. Call on me as your Lord and Savior, and I will save you. I came in the flesh to save the world, not condemn it. Please wake up, O sleeper. I am at the door, and it's about to shut. You will hear the trumpet soon. Please wake up, children. My hour is here. I love you. I am your Abba, your deliverer, your rescuer, your Lord God, and I have spoken. Habakkuk 2 6. Will not all these take up proverb against him and taunting riddle against him and say, Woe to him who increases what is not his, how long unto him who loads himself with many pledges? Ephesians 3 11. According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. <clears throat> Genesis 14 20. And blessed be God most high who has delivered your enemies into hand. First Thessalonians 2 8. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives because you had become dear to us. Here's the message. My storm is rolling in and you will see fire in the skies. Keep looking up, children. Look at the moon. Look at the stars. Watch for the parade of lights. They will light up the sky like 4th of July. Movie is here. You will all see it soon. A mirrored image, a reflection twofold. The bottom has fallen out. Get your oil lamps ready. I will see you in the clouds soon. Believe in me. Give me your hearts. Come to me with full repentance and I will save you. Remember, children, you can't fool me. I know your motives. I know where you stand. Are you standing on the right side of the line? There's still time, but it's running out. The weed and the tares are almost sorted. I love you. I will deliver you soon. Redemption draws nigh. Take heed of my warnings. They are final. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken. Ecclesiastes 3.5. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. <coughs> trying to hurry up because I got to cook dinner. Philippians 1.11. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ Jesus which, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Hebrews 4, 9. There remains, therefore rests for the people of God. Revelation 15, 6. And out of the temple came the seven angels, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, having their chests girded with golden brands. Proverbs 1, 12. Let us swallow them alive like shield and a hole like those who go down to the pit. Enoch 4. They consider and behold every tree, how it appears to wither. And every leaf to fall off except of 14 trees, which are not deciduous, which wait from the, the old to the appearance of the new leaf for two or three winters. Luke 3, 8. Therefore bear fruits worthy of repentance and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Here's a message. Your window, you have a small window of opportunity, a small window to believe. Time to make a choice, children. You can't serve me and vow. If you forgive your neighbor, I will forgive you. Forgiveness is fruit of the spirit. Do you love your neighbor? Do you truly have my spirit? You will know by your fruits. Wake up, O oh sleeper. I'm coming to pick up my bride for the wedding feast. Put your wedding garments on. There will be a feast and dancing. You will reign in my glory forever. You can enjoy supper with the lamb if you believe in me and confess I am Lord. Give me your hearts. I want to save you. I wish for no one to perish. The end is here. The end is now. Reader, pay attention. I told you where to start. I told you the beginning and the end. I love you. Your savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 14.9, these you may eat all all. 
eat of all that are in the waters. You may eat all that have fins and scales. Leviticus 3.11. And the priest shall burn them on the altar's food and offering made by fire to the Lord. Matthew 24, 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Luke 13, 7, then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, look for three years, I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none, cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? James 3, 8, but no man can tame the tongue. It is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. Exodus 21, 6, then his master shall bring him to the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or to the doorpost and his master shall pierce his ear with an awl and he shall serve him forever. Ezekiel 9, 11, <clears throat> yeah, I'm almost done. Just send the man clothed with linen who had the inkhorn at his side, reported back and said, I have done as you commanded me. Isaiah 18, 3, all inhabitants of the world and dwellers on the earth. When he lifts up a banner in the mountains, you see it. And when he blows a trumpet, you hear it. Psalm 16, 5, O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. Daniel 12, 8, although I heard, I did not understand. Then I said, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? May 29, 2023, Luke 6, 3. But Jesus answering them said, Have you not even read this, what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him? James 2, 9. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. First Thessalonians 4, 5. Not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Colossians 3, 11. Where... There is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Ephesians 4, 9. Now this he ascended, what does it mean? But that he also first descended into lower parts of the earth. Jeremiah 12, 8. My heritage is to me like a lying in the forest. It cries out against me, therefore I have hated it. Daniel 7, 2. Daniel spoke, saying, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. Zephaniah 1, 2. I will utterly consume everything from the face of the land, says the Lord. Joel 2, 8. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they lunge between the weapons, they are not cut down. Jude 1, 3. Beloved, why I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all delivered to the saints. Ruth 2, 7. And she said, please let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. Here's the message. My child, I know some of you are feeling the weight and the pull of the world. I know some of you are losing faith. Well, take heart. I am coming to save you. I told you to take this moment of silence and seek me, worship, and pray to me. I know not all of you understand what I'm doing, but you will all see it clearly pretty soon. My plan is perfect and pleasing, and I have not left anyone's side. I hear your prayers, children. I know spiritual warfare is heightened. I told you to put your armor on to stay clear of the fiery darts from the devil. What does this say in my word? It says the groom delays and the foolish virgins weren't wise, didn't have enough oil for their lamps. So they went out to buy some, but the groom had already come. Do not be the foolish virgin standing at the door saying, Lord, Lord, let us in. I will say I never knew you. I love all my children. I wish for not one to perish. I told you they have changed my calendar. I told you they have mimicked my creations and mocked them. Reading forward and backward was my original creation. Didn't I design my perfect words to honor my glory? Are you putting limitations on my creation? I told you Daniel 12 was unsealed and I would be showing you many mysteries that have been sealed up to the very end. My children, this is the end, but it's only the beginning. Do you get it now? Do you see my patterns? I'm showing you the true outline. I'm showing you my mysteries unfolding. Have you asked me for discernment? Have you tested the spirits? You are judgmental and dishonorable at best. I have the sword coming for those who won't believe in me. I have a sword coming for the wicked. My patterns and the message will also match my true calendar in the heavens. Maseroth, why are you so focused on dates? My anointed ones speak what I tell them to speak. I have ordained them for a time like this, and they are obedient and willing to suffer for my glory. But do not fault my chosen. They speak on behalf of me and what I allow them to speak. I have no favorites. If you believe in me with all of your heart and confess I am your Lord, I will save you. You will be chosen. I will raise you up, all my chosen and children, very soon. Your strength and perseverance will block any fiery dart aimed at you. I told you to believe in me. I told you to love your neighbor. So many of you are failing my test. It's important for me to show you your fruits and what branches needed to be broken off and thrown into the fire. A withered branch will produce no good fruit. I'm giving you a chance to examine your hearts. I'm giving you a chance to repent from your wicked ways. 
I'm loving, kind, and gentle, which is why I keep sending my warnings. But soon the warnings will stop. When the clock stops, the warning stops. TikTok means something. Then the only way to me is to believe and die for my glory. My wrath is not for my chosen and not for my children. I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world. Why can't you see the love I have for you, children? Why do you reject me and mock me? I warn all of you to save you. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess I am Lord. I told you meteorites are coming and rocks will fall. You have seen pre-warnings of this, but so much more is coming. Let's just say my grand finale will be nothing like my pre-show. The pre-show is my last effort to wake you up before you have to endure my wrath. Look up and keep watching the moon. You are going to see lots of rainbows all throughout the sky. My glory and my presence will be known. I am your creator. I am your Adonai. I am your Abba and I am your friend and I have spoken. <clears throat> Genesis 2.11, the name of the first is Pishon. It is the one which skirts the whole land of Havilah where there is gold. Job 38.11, when I said this far you may come but no farther and hear your proud waves and stop. Matthew 26.7, a woman came to him having alabaster flask, very costly fragrant oil and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. Okay, uh, Leviticus 4.8. He shall take from it all the fat of the bull of the sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat which is on the entrails. 1 Peter 3 8. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers. Be tender hearted, be courteous. Hebrews 4 11. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. Psalm 112 5. Good man deals graciously in lens, he will guide his affairs with discretion. Psalm 11.3, if the foundations are destroyed, what can righteous do? What can the righteous do? John 3.11, most assuredly I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. John 4.19, the woman said to him, sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Okay, I think this is the last message. Yay, May 30th, 2023. 1 Peter 2, nine. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amos 3.11 Therefore this is the Lord God, and adversity shall be all around the land. He shall sap your strength from you, and your palaces shall be plundered. Amos 2.9 yet, yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and he was as strong as the oaks. Yet I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. 1 Corinthians 2.11 <clears throat> For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. 1 Peter 3.5 For in this manner in former times the holy woman who trusted in God also adorned themselves being submissive to their own husbands. Message. My child, army tanks are coming. You are going to see them setting up barricades. It will not just be for war. You will see it happen when the talk of the pandemic increases. Chicago will be the forefront for the shutdowns. They will also shut down the metro system in fear of the virus spreading. They are going to talk about a new virus here soon. It will accompany Marburg, SARS, and fungus. But they will say this one spreads rapidly through contact and can be airborne. Lockdowns will come again, but it will be far much worse than, than the C word. Men's hearts will fail because of the fear. Children, I don't want any of this for you. It's their plan to control and dominate and set you up for the beast system. I told you they will herd you in like cattle. You will be just another number in a zone attached to a social credit score. I will not let my people suffer through this kind of evil torture. I will rescue my bride. I will take my children. I warn you of these things to come. Many of you still have not given me your hearts and have not truly believed I died for you to save you. Your hearts are still wicked and you haven't crossed over from death to life. You are still under the law and not saved by me because you don't believe. I don't say these things to you to pump fear. I say them to you so you will know how to plan and be one step ahead of the devil and his plans. I don't want any of my children to suffer the horror that is coming. But I have to make this world new again and get rid of the evil. My judgment will come. It's up to you whether or not you want to endure it or be rescued from it. In my word, I say whoever endures to the end will be saved. This is the end, my child. Do you believe in me or do you follow the devil? You endure to the end by never losing hope in me and believe in me with all of your heart. The trials and tribulations you have endured has only made you stronger. I told you you may suffer a while, but then I will build you back up and give you strength. I need to plug in my phone before it dies. Yeah, it should be working. Okay. 
I will restore you and give you hope for a new future. It's coming, my child. Many of you have seen the moon look hazy. This is just the beginning of the ominous turn of events that is coming. I know you cannot see it clearly and see what is happening if you are not walking in my spirit. Many of you have asked me for discernment. I have given it to many of my children. Many of you have asked me and you get silence. What is your true motive of asking? Are you truly seeking me with your heart or are you trying to find another way to attack your neighbor? I see right through your schemes and plans of attack. I know everyone's heart and I know everyone's thoughts. Truly seek me with all of your heart with no motives. I will give you the truth and the answer you are truly seeking. If you come to me with vile accusations and wicked hearts, I will not give you anything to fuel your ammunition against my anointed ones. There is a reason I said worker bees. It has a double meaning. Look at the signs of heavens. I have already revealed this meaning to many of my chosen ones who follow my heavenly signs. The end is here, my children, and the hour has come upon you. The door is still open. I am giving you time to repent and believe in me. But my warnings are final and my word is true. The devil is a liar. He is the father of lies. Now you may not be able to decipher every word spoken by me. I speak in riddles and parables. My spirit-filled people will be guided by the Holy Spirit and the truth will be revealed. I told you I have no favorites. I choose people according to my will and according to their fruits. How much are you willing to give up for me and make me first? Where is your heart, child? Where is the love? I told you to love your neighbor, not quarrel. I'm very patient, kind, and a loving God, but I'm also a wrathful God, and I will not be mocked. I know who my sheep truly are. They know me, and they know my voice. They are guided by me and my truths, not the world. Come out of the world, people, and let me give you that supernatural peace. Let me give you rest. I will wipe every tear, and you can be at the wedding feast to enjoy supper with the Lamb. I am the Lamb. I am the true Messiah. There is no other way. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Stop walking in the flesh. It leads to sin and death. If you believe in me, I will save you. I wish for not one to perish. I am your rescuer. Oh, I'm sorry. It leads to sin and death and start walking in the spirit. It leads to redemption and life. I love you. If you believe in me, I will save you. I wish for not one to perish. I'm your rescuer, your deliverer, and you are saved by faith in me and my grace it's a free gift and you can't earn salvation and you can't boast about salvation i have already paid the penalty of sin if you love me you will be obedient and you will follow my commands because you love me faith pleases me so pray to me for your will and give me your heart and i will open the floodgates of heaven and pour down the blessings you can ask me for anything and i will give it to you when you are truly living for me you will ask me for things that will be in a line for my will for you I love you, children. Please wake up. All these disasters are coming. I told you it's the end, but it's just the beginning. You are a father, friend, your Abba and Messiah, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 3.11, for only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnant of the giants. Indeed, his bedstead was an iron bedstead. Is not Rabbah of the people of Amma? Nine cubits is his length, and four cubits is width, according to the standard cubit. Exodus 22.8. And the thief, if, if the thief is not found, then the master of the house shall be brought to the judges to see whether he has put his hand into his neighbor's goods. Exodus 22:14. And if man borrows anything from his neighbor and it becomes injured or dies, the owner of it not being with it, he shall surely make it good. Almost 4 9. I blasted you with blight and mildew when your gardens increased, your vineyards, your fig trees, and your olive trees. The locusts devoured them, yet you have not returned to me, says the Lord. Jeremiah 9 6. Your dwelling place is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Ecclesiastes 3 11. Assemble, come, all you nations, and gather together all around, cause your mighty ones to go down there, O Lord. First Thessalonians 2 9. For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for laboring night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Revelation 1 5 through 9. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the rule over the kings of the earth to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen, and the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. And another, Revelation 14, 8, and another angel followed saying, Babylon has fallen, has fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Job 31, 3, it is not destruction for the wicked and disaster for the workers of iniquity. Genesis 15, 7, then he said to him, I am the Lord and brought you out of Europe, the Chaldeans, to give you this land to inherit it. Ah. Uh, 
John 3, 7, do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. John 7, 11, then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? John 3, 17, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. 1 Corinthians 2, 9, but as written, I has not seen nor ear, ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Okay, second message on May 30th, and then we are done. Second Thessalonians 2, 4 through 8. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God and or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things, and now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time, for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Job 14.11, as water disappears from the sea and a river becomes parched and dries up. Micah 3.11, her heads judge for a bribe, her priests teach for pay, and her prophets divine for money, yet they lean on the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? No harm can come upon us. Second Peter 1.3, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. 1 John 1, 4. And these things we write to you that your joy may be full. 3 John 1, 2. For I rejoice greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, just as you walk in the truth. Luke 8, 3. And Johanna, the wife of Jesus, Herod, Stuart, and Susanna, and many others who provided for him from their substance. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Hush, Shabby. Romans 9, 6. But it is not the word of God has taken no effect, for they are not of Israel who are of Israel. Second Thessalonians 1, 5. Which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer. Colossians 1, 3. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. I didn't know there was a word in there where he would make you suffer. <laughs> Here's a message. My child, drones are coming. They will explain the rapture. The economy is about to collapse. The banks will shut down on a Friday. By Monday, you will have a new system and will all be digital currency. Waves are coming, my child. Great big waves. Two tsunamis will form from a 7.5 earthquake in Ecuador. Told you the ending is here. Seismic activity is coming after the 7.5 earthquake. There will be four more high magnitude earthquakes destroying cities sevenfold. Eight is coming very soon. What do you think these warnings are for? I'm trying to wake you up, my child. Believe in me. Confess I am Lord. Giving you a chance to repent from your wicked ways and believe in me with your hearts. I'm trying to save you. My heart is broken. So much defiance. So much lack of faith. All my words will come to pass. You may not know the timing of these things, but you will know my word is true. The devil is a liar. I am not a liar. Always seek me for discernment. I told you I will reveal if your heart is in the right place. My judgment will be tenfold. It's not here yet, but it's coming. Why do you think the elite are getting their bunkers ready? They think they can hide from me, but not even underground will save them. I wish for not one to perish. I'm giving you warning after warning so you might believe. Even the elite I wish to save if they would repent, believe in me, and confess I am Lord. My prophets have worked so hard to save you. They have been so obedient they have done everything i have asked them yet you taunt and curse them to their face you should be ashamed of your wickedness if you do not repent you will perish every person who truly believes in me will have my spirit and will walk in love it's okay to correct your neighbor if it comes from love but make sure you seek discernment from me first do not rely on your own understanding rely on the holy spirit to give you truth pray to me to give you truth scolding your neighbor and hate is unacceptable and is the fruit of the devil gentleness and kindness is the fruit of the holy spirit i'm weeding out good versus evil i am sorting the wheat from the tares i am almost done sorting and you will have destruction fall upon you like a woman in labor dobby i told you contractions had started i told you my bride would be delivered soon have you started with revelation 22 there's a reason you keep seeing 22 have you figured it out yet no, I haven't. There's a reason I keep giving you repeated numbers. Look up the Bible concordance, the Greek and the Hebrew meaning. Stay away from gematria and angel numbers. I told you the devil mimics and mocks my creations. I am God of numbers, which is why I have numbers in my word. Shows you several meanings. It uncovers the mysteries and the parables I have spoken. Turn from your idols and wicked ways. Believe in me with all of your heart and I will save you. Seek me, pray to me and worship me. I want a relationship with you, my children. I knew you before I knit you in your mother's womb. I know the number of hairs on your head. So why do you deny me and why do you reject me? I know some of you have had lots of trials and tribulations. You thought <clears throat> I forgot about you and you threw in the towel and stopped believing in me. But did you ever truly believe? If you did, you would have my spirit. And 
and I would have changed your heart and renewed your mind. You would have been guided by my Holy Spirit. You would have obeyed my commandments because you love me. Examine your hearts, children. Look at the speck in your own eye before you look at the speck in your neighbor's eye. I didn't come to condemn the world. I came to save it. There is no condemnation in me, Christ Jesus, for the ones who don't know my true name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Please, children, all my warnings are about to stop. They are final. Do not let the door close on you. Be a wise virgin, not a foolish virgin. Do not let anyone steal your crown. Once I have you, you will always be saved. No angels or demons can snatch you from my hand. I won't blot your name from my book. So ask yourselves, if you once believed and you fell away, did you truly believe? My true believers will never fall away because I will change their hearts and give them a heart of flesh and remove the heart of stone. I will renew their mind. Now you will always fall short from my glory. But the Holy Spirit I left for you will guide you and convict you. You will hear me calling you home. If you are my sheep, you will always find your way back to me. I would leave all 99 just to find that one. This is how much I love you. So please trust in me, repent, and believe in me with all of your heart. Remember the root word of repentance is a change of mind. Do not complicate it, children, and do not twist my words. I love you, and I will see you in the clouds soon. Your Jehovah, your rescue, and your friend, and I have spoken. Jeremiah one fourteen. Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north of calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. Daniel 12.9. And he said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Dabi, I'm almost done, baby. Ezekiel 14, 3, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Should I let myself be inquired of at all by them? Isaiah 19, 6, The rivers will turn foul, the brooks of defense will be emptied and dried up, the reeds and rushes will wither. Revelation 19, 3, Again they said, Alleluia, her smoke rises up forever and ever. Revelation 21, 3, And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. Dabby, I'm almost done. James 3, 8, But no man can tame the tongue. It is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. John 2, 11, This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. First John 4, 3, And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming, is now already in the world. First John 5, 7, For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. Galatians 3, 11, But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident, for the just shall live by faith. I'm almost done, babe. Galatians or Ephesians 2 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Habakkuk 2 7. Will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you and who will become their booty? John 2 5. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Lamentations 3 11. He has turned aside my ways and torn me in pieces. He has made me desolate. Here's the last message. The wage of sin and death is about to hit its highest peak. The ships are coming. I told you they're loading their cargo on the ships and getting ready to surround the borders. Signs in the heavens. Have you crashed into Aries yet? Jupiter hasn't moved. Don't forget about the upside down constellation. Don't forget about Jubilee. Listen to my words carefully, children. They may be your last. I love you. I'm your Adonai and your deliverer and I have spoken. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. Joel 3, 8, I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabines, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken. Jude 1, 4, Jude, Jude 1, 4, for certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation. Ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Job 2, five. But stretch out your hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will surely curse you to your face. Psalm 23.3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Okay, guys, that was it. That was from um, May 15th through uh, May 30th, because I didn't get one yesterday. It was May 31st. So. All right, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people, guys. I love you, and God bless.